Back in the late 70s, we had a holistic health center, which we learned some very important things about human health. In nature, there is a balance between calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium. Most of us in this country are magnesium deficient, and magnesium deficiency opens the doors for heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. We can change this, and it's just a matter of learning what the balance is in your body and how to fix that. And another thing that's very exciting that's been given to us is there is an extract from turmeric called curcumin, and they have patented a way to take this natural substance and make it 10 times more effective than anything we've ever had to reduce inflammation. The medical world is excited about it, and I'm excited about it because I'm seeing changes in, the, in my body and the people around us, it's unparalleled. The good news is we covered a lot of this information at a recent seminar in Cincinnati, and we also have on our website information that can be referred to, which will give you more and more information about this and how it can work and affect your life very positively. What I'd like to do, and I'll, I'll tell you right now, we're, we're going to share some of the things that I have found had the biggest positive impact on people and, and warn you about some of the things that really mess your body chemistry up and you think you're doing good. And, and so we're going to cover things like that. And so many women, especially, are taking way too much calcium and actually promoting heart disease. And it's like and people have no idea when they think they're doing what's wonderful that they're actually doing the negative. So we're going to cover things like that. And we're going to cover basically the main two things is getting your magnesium levels balanced. Um, the goal is to get an equal calcium to magnesium balance in your body, which isn't something that you hear routinely. And curcumin is a gift of God. Uh, the new patented BCM95 curcumin is 500 times more powerful than turmeric, which has had 5,600 investigations scientifically. And I'm excited about that because we're seeing aches and pains get fixed. And anybody that has chronic pain today, um, we'd invite you to sneak over and see that little guy hiding around the corner there, or Bob Murden and Shad, because they've got some samples. And just taking two of those, I mean, I've seen things that just have blown me away for all my years of nutrition. I think God is giving us natural tools that are better than anything we've ever had before. So that's part of what we want to share with you guys. Um, also, we wanted to mention that uh, we're going to, I don't know what time it is, but we were going to basically go for about an hour if you can take that without falling asleep. Um, but at that time, they've got pH paper over here, which we're gonna talk about, because you can actually measure the ionic calcium in your body by measuring the pH of your saliva. So if you wanna do that, they have the little papers over there, and you take it, put it in your mouth, get it moist, and then hold it up against the shade guide. And, uh, People that are in extremely good health will usually fall in the range 70 to 7.4. And uh, the exciting thing about this is when you understand how the body works, you've got a good picture of how God works. And uh, to realize that the sun touches chlorophyll, which is a magnesium compound, and through that releases oxygen and promotes causes food to happen that's nutritious. And the more you eat the kind of food that God made by the use of the sun, the better your body tends to get. And uh, it's an interesting parallel that the Son of God gives spiritual life to Earth. And this is like, we, we see even in our physical creation, we see spelling of the, of the spiritual. And uh, so I wanted to uh, get that out. So around 10 o'clock, of course, I think Bill used up a lot of my time, so we're going to have to make it a little bit shorter. <laughs> but, I love, but it's great having people stuff, stuff I never knew about Linda and, and, and them, you know. And I, I don't know if they're lying or not, but it's like, uh, it's great to come and hear something that's positive that you never knew before. So thanks for, for your words of wisdom and your love, and I appreciate it. Uh, anyway, I want to give you a little bit of history of why we're into magnesium uh, and the importance of magnesium. And uh, I've got to read my writing, I can't read it very good. And, and the, the neat things about curcumin that we're going to talk about. 
is, is, is a pain reliever when it's combined with three other elements that I've never seen anything eliminate inflammation and pain like this. So we've got some samples. If you've got pain or aches in your body, you can get a little package of two and uh, try one and then one later and just see what happens. Uh, to me, it's been totally exciting. We've been only been doing this for three months, but we're seeing people with aches and pains that have been with them for years and saying, wow, I, I can't believe that there's something that's not tearing my body apart and making me feel better. Anyway, back to the story. 1960, I was given a, uh, just a young dentist getting out of dental school and figuring out how I'm gonna pay off for the bill to go to dental school, which wasn't much back then. And uh, so I didn't have a lot of money, but the doctor upstairs, Dr. Reginos, had built the building, uh, had a two-day course with Dr. Emanuel Shireshin, who was a physician dentist at the University of Alabama, and he did research. He used his students to try vitamins and minerals and things, and then he would record what happened to them. And uh, I had the good fortune of hearing him for two days. And uh, much to the chagrin of my wife and kids, after the first lecture, I came home and went into the pantry and threw out all the sugar and white flour. Uh, little tears and a little concern about that. But our medical bill, which we kept track on, went down to zero, except for broken bones and sprained ankles from the athletics that they were involved in. And then another story that uh, we heard Dr. Hal Huggins talk, who was a dentist and was there in the nutrition, and he talked about minerals and how the minerals do wonderful things in the body. And he got me hooked up to using chelated magnesium. And chelated magnesium was sort of a new thing. That's the way you put magnesium in a, a protein molecule so it goes right into the cells, which is where it does awesome things. So we started buying and using 75 milligram tablets of magnesium. And, uh, Something that pretty much changed my life and sort of gave me a sense of direction is I had a, a young girl come in, I think she was around nine or 10, and she had a cast on from her hip all the way down to her ankles. And I said, you know, what, what happened? And they said, she's been diagnosed with osteogenesis imperfecta, which is Latin for the bones don't heal, we don't know why. And uh, she would bump into a stool and break, she broke both of her legs, or both of the, the tibia and the fibula, the lower part of the leg. And then she fell down the steps with that cast on and broke the upper part. And for six months, the bones had not healed. And uh, I had just read a book on, that Rodell put out called Magnesium, the Nutrient That Can Change Your Life. And in that book, it talked about what happened in Dallas where an orthopedic surgeon basically noticed that he would get all these people from the one part of the Texas that they rarely broke bones, and if they did, they healed real quick. And in the other part of Texas, people were breaking their bones all the time, and a lot of times they just didn't heal. And so he investigated, and he found it was magnesium. Magnesium is what makes bones hard and dense. And I thought, this is revolutionary, because everybody starts taking calcium, which I have now found out too much calcium, too little magnesium, makes bones not heal very well. And the best way to get bones to heal is to take straight magnesium. And when you see that happening, it's like you get excited. So anyway, I told, suggested to the mother, take a tablet of magnesium. Well, within six weeks, she totally healed after six months of no healing. And the mother said, we're not only excited about that, but she said, look at my hands. My hands, I had arthritis so bad that I could hardly bend my fingers at all these now. She says, look at them now. I'm taking 75 milligrams of magnesium, just like my daughter. I thought, wow. That is pretty amazing. And she says, and besides that, our teenage daughter suffers terribly with menstrual cramps. She takes magnesium, she has no more menstrual cramps. And I thought, magnesium is healing broken bones. It's causing arthritis to go away and it's getting rid of muscle contractions. And when you look at the diseases of today, you'll see that that is what, what do you think about when you have a heart attack? You got a muscle that's contracting and not relaxing. You got calcium deposits in the arteries, so the circulation isn't good. And to make it very simple, you're looking at what causes heart disease. Well, we had a holistic health center between 1975 and 1980, and we had physicians that worked with us, and we did all kind of new age stuff. 
And, uh, and we, learned, we did hair analysis and blood studies so that we were in, in dietary surveys to find out what people were eating and making suggestions. And that's when I became totally convinced that magnesium is the difference in health in the human body in our day, in this time. And I've seen this to be true for about 45 to 50 years. And I found that whenever people started to get that magnesium level up where it should be, which is an equal balance with calcium and magnesium, which is so different because everything you read says twice as much calcium as magnesium. What I found is that when people took twice as much calcium as magnesium, they would have some improvement, but they didn't get rid of the magnesium deficiency symptoms. So in our crusade to get everybody on magnesium, I started to record the things that happened when people took magnesium. So the, the calcium magnesium form that you all have in your tables, I'm gonna say if you wanna have a change in health, if you're willing to work with a third, what I call a 30-day diet experiment and circle any symptoms when you get a chance, not while I'm talking, hopefully, but circle any symptoms in there and record those. Now, if you decide to make any of the changes that we suggest that have worked for us in a week, get that same form out, use a different color like blue to circle the first time, do red a week later, and where it says energy level, Look and see, did I have a change in energy since I'm taking the magnesium? And it's like if they say, hey, 10 or 20% better, put a little one or two there. So basically, you can record any changes that you see with the supplements that you take. And I can only tell you that if you're really gonna do something that's gonna be helpful, that process in your busy life will be extremely helpful. Because what I found, we would give samples of magnesium, a pack of seven to people, see them a week later and say, did you have any changes? No, uh, no. Uh, Maybe, I don't know. And then I would look at what they had circled and I'd say, well, how about nighttime urination? Oh, yeah, I, I don't get up anymore now to go to the bathroom. And how about muscle cramps? Well, that's right, I didn't get any trolley horses this week or menstrual cramps this week. And sometimes it'd be heart palpitations. Every now and then my heart would make funny noises and I'd feel it. I took the magnesium tablet and it went away. And that happens all the time. I mean, I, I could. I've seen that happen hundreds of times over the years. So it tells me, if the heart is not functioning right, what is this doing for my future? I mean, what, am I looking for a surprise one day that's like, where, where, where'd this come from? And the other thing is the calcium deposits. I mean, look at how many pains and aches happen in the body because of calcium deposits. Kidney stones, and we found when people drink bionativa <laughs> trace mineral water with magnesium in it, kidney stones tend to not happen anymore. And Linda's, who just spoke to you, she's one of them. It was, and she can tell her own story on that. But, and then when she quit taking the supplement, the kidney stones happened again. So it's like, and I've seen this happen too many times to say it's just a coincidence. So when you start eliminating calcium deposits, I mean, think of all the, the aches and pains that people have. Think about the arthritis. You've been diagnosed with arthritis. It's like, well, you got this strange disease. This strange disease, is a mineral imbalance. And it's like, one of the things that happened, we, we gave a talk at a, with a small group and a young man, which I didn't know at the time, went home, got some magnesium, gave it to his father, who was a postal worker, and he was in bed because he couldn't function anymore because of arthritis. He gave his father magnesium, small quantities, and a couple months ago, I was back to work. My brother was on a bowling team. He said, two, two guys on our bowling team quit because of their arthritis. He bought two bottles of magnesium, gave it to him, and they both came back to play to, to bowl again. So I've seen so many times, and when you think about your own situation, that's why we encourage you to, to record what's going on in your body. Am I, am I plagued with magnesium deficiency with calcium deposits? Do I have muscles that are contracting and not relaxing? Constipation, heart palpitations, high blood pressure, the blood vessels are surrounded by muscles, and if you're body is too high in calcium, too low in magnesium, the blood vessels constrict. What does that cause? Hey, the back pressure on the heart. Unfortunately, most medications, uh, and, and even though there are times when we need medications to get us through a critical time, but to take medications the rest of your life, almost all medications have a tendency to create magnesium deficiency. And I've seen this, and if you talk to most dentists and dental hygienists, you tend to find that when your patient gets on a bunch of medication, chemotherapy, heart problems or whatever, that their mouth 
frequently becomes dry because of the magnesium deficiency, which sets the, stone, the story for more tooth decay and more gum problems. And, and it's, it's really sad because, uh, and, and I saw about two years ago, I think the doctors were all warned, give your patients 1,000 milligrams of calcium and vitamin D. And that's, the vitamin D was, all, two thirds of the population is short on, on vitamin D, they, they found pretty, pretty much close to that. What I start seeing is almost every day, at least several days a week, I'd find women that were patients of mine for a long time, and how are you doing? Oh man, my, I got arthritis, uh, I'm not sleeping at night, and, and my bowels are not working right, and, and I, I just don't feel very good. And I, so I started asking questions, and I found out that all the people that were taking this thousand milligrams of calcium and no magnesium were suddenly having blood sugar problems, muscle problems, sleep problems, and if you look on your list, you'll see a lot of those, those symptoms. And, and I've, I've got a folder that I specially printed up that is in, it should be on your table, that it talks about a study that was done in New Zealand. 1,741 women were given 1,000 milligrams of calcium, no magnesium, half of them were, the other half got placebos. At the end of five years, 50% of the women that were on the calcium had heart attacks or strokes. And you can read the article for yourself on both sides. And I encourage you to pass this out to your friends because it's, it's such a universal problem. As soon as people have a problem, it's like give them calcium and vitamin D. The vitamin D is a great idea, but what they don't understand is that the lack of, and, and this is symptoms on calcium shortage. Uh, anyway. Anyway, that's the, that's the form, and, and basically that form is in your, is in your packet, the calcium magnesium form. And that calcium magnesium form, I feel so good about that because I know that if anybody really takes that form and uses it the way it was designed, you have got a key that can change your life pattern for the future as far as your health. And to explain even further, uh, even if I'm not around in a few years, our website explains, if you go to our website, drbobrothen.com, and go to increasing magnesium is one area, it'll give you a whole idea of how you can supplement, what you can do to increase your magnesium levels. And then there's another section called re reducing inflammation and stress. And that one, magnesium and vitamin C, you need that to reduce inflammation. But the curcumin is, an awesome addition. It is an awesome. And we're finding people that have good magnesium levels and good curcumin levels, especially with this new patented form. We're just seeing people get better in a way that I haven't seen before. I mean, it's like, I feel God has given us a special, a special natural ingredient. And the curcumin, and if you've ever heard of Celebrex, a lot of times people that are so desperately in pain that they'll take Celebrex, to eliminate the pain. The only problem is it tends to destroy the stomach and the circulatory system. And, and a lot of people literally die from taking that for a long time. Curcumin, BCM95, which is the patented form of curcumin, university testing has shown that it is better than Celebrex with negative side effects. Zilch, none whatsoever. Susan's Health Food Store, which was one of the people that sort of got us introduced to this, they got a big cabinet full of curcumin in, in these different forms. And, uh, and I asked them, I said, well, do you have any problems with people taking that stuff? And they've got a money back guarantee. You'll be better with your pain. And uh, I said, well, how long does it take? It usually average. He said, six hours to three days. Uh, and if you don't have results, you can bring it back. And I said, how many people have brought it back? He said, we haven't had any come back yet. And they said, they sell this stuff like crazy. He says, once you start taking this, it's reducing inflammation. And one of the flyers that you got, and that flyer is awesome. And it's, it's got a fold out. And Terry in there on the far right hand side talks about for 45 years, he basically has been working with nutrition with his company, Euromedica. Uh, but he said, for all those years, if there was one supplement that I could take, just one, it would be 
the curcumin supplement that's got 750 milligrams in it. And re she's, we were at a seminar on about using nutrition or using herbs and spices as, a, for, as medicine. And uh, she was excellent. Six hours, complete print out information, one of the best seminars ever at. But what really got me is at the very end, she says, if you don't remember one thing out of all that you've heard today, take 1,000 milligrams of BCM, curcumin BCM95, because the medical world and the research world is saying they are amazed at the number of diseases that are being improved by this. And, and they've got a list of the different diseases. I mean, and the beauty of it is the FDA can come around and say, you can't say that because there's research that backs us all up, not just with curcumin in general, but this particular patented form is the form that has been used in so much research because it's so potent. And the stuff that that's doing for people is amazing. And uh, my goal is that people take this information and when they get better and they don't need the medications as they're on, say, I don't need this, I don't feel like I need it because of the symptom changes, and then give them the information. And this is why I ordered the three-page fold-out of the curcumin, because the, the research is there. It isn't like, if it's any old curcumin, and say, well, it's, there's all different strengths and all different brands and all that stuff. This is the brand that is tested. So you know you're using the gold. And to me, it's exciting if we can improve the health of our nation. And uh, there's a, a gentleman that basically has been circling the world in research. And, and if you go to his website, it's called mgwater.com. And it's like the information is there, researching around the world, any area where there's high magnesium in the water and in the soil, they live longer, they have less heart problems, and they have less broken bones. So it isn't like somebody just dreamed up the fact of the importance of magnesium. I mean, it's when you look at the research, the people that live to be the oldest, the people in the world that live to be 100 and don't have sickness and you know they die from falling off their horse rather than heart disease or, or something like that. And there are people that are drinking magnesium-rich water that's got all the minerals of the sea frequently. And, and they get enough sun that they get the vitamin D. So if you, to understand how critical our body chemistry is, it, it, it revolves very much around the balance between calcium, magnesium, and vitamin D. And uh, a doctor, Carl Reich, back in the 70s, discovered that he could test the saliva. And he said when people were really, really healthy, he said that their saliva would test in the seven, Seven is neutral for people that don't know about pH. One is perfect acid, 14 is perfect alkaline, which is calcium, and seven is neutral. The blood demands, the blood has to have a 7.35 7 pH. So when you test your saliva and your saliva tests in that range, and I've been doing this now for, I don't know, a year or two, and, and I found that the people that look the strongest and the healthiest have pHs in that range. And the people that are not doing so well, uh, they tend to be more in the yellow range than more acidic. And I don't say this to scare you, but what Dr. Wright found out is if I got people on coral calcium and vitamin D, and the coral calcium that he was using was very balanced between the calcium magnesium and the vitamin D was, was helpful, he would find that the people's pH could move upward and get closer to that ideal range. So this is, this is something that each of us can do, and it means you gotta give up the magnesium robbers, which is on our sheet. I mean, you wanna put magnesium robbers on there if you can? Oh. Um, yeah. Tell you what, <laughs> the, my main concern is we got a lot of really good nuggets to cover, and I and I would love to have a lot of testimony because there's a lot of them out there. But I, I'm afraid if we're going to do this, we're going to we're going to miss some of the some of the good things. 
basically she got better because she was taking magnesium and, and curcumin. I mean, so like in the shoulder, and and that's typically what happens. So, and I don't mean to cut anything off because I love the testimonies because I always <coughs> like to get feedback from sup people that are taking supplements because that's how I learned most of what I'm telling you about is feedback from patients when they took magnesium is what really helped me to understand how critical and important it is. And if I can, let me interject a, a, a little testimony here about this, okay? One of the things that happened after we, I got exposed to magnesium, I came home and I was starting to see patients who had these symptoms and I'd give, tell them to get magnesium. And for six months, it seemed like everybody was getting healed. I mean, at the point where, wow, this is a magic potion. I mean, because we were having all these positive results. And then suddenly, bingo, at six months, <laughs> Given people magnesium, they end up getting canker sores or cold sores or having muscle cramps and shin splints. And I'm thinking, what happened to magnesium? And it's like, and then I went through a long period of time and I thought, I got to investigate what is going on. So Dr. Royal Lee, who basically invented the company that's still around called Standard Process, he did a lot of studies and he basically found out that when people were deficient in calcium, that they would have symptoms of canker sores, cold sores, shin splints. And that's why it's important for you to circle and see if you are one of those people that gets canker sores, cold sores, or shin splints. Because if you are, you don't, you may not do well if you take straight magnesium. And that's a small percentage, I say 10% of the people that have that. But part of the talk that I've got to share is what do you do when you're one of those people? And then hopefully we're gonna have time to cover that and give you ideas of what's gonna work best for you to supplement. Because once I understood that, I realized that, hey, there's a balance between these. And people that are eating the typical junk food and robbing their body of magnesium, which is about 80% of us are magnesium deficient, according to the government. The government says that. And almost any alternative medicine doctor will tell you that that's the ratio that you see, and that's the ratio that I've seen. So those people that can take magnesium, and if they get up to four or 600 milligrams a day, a lot of times they'll get better. So part of what we're doing today is giving you the names of supplements that we have used that we found really, really worked, okay? And not that they're the only ones, but they're the ones that we just found work for the most people. But we also found that the canker star people, they needed to take calcium, magnesium, and a more balanced ratio. And, uh, doctor, and I was fortunate enough to run into the, uh, the man who basically was the, the creator of the supplements for Source Naturals. And he basically, because he was sick from the time he was a little kid, tried everything. And he learned more about body chemistry and nutrition. And he is the guy that formulates for Source Naturals. All of his supplements if it's not, and he's got a straight magnesium called Ultramag, which we use tons of that because it's a very good one for you if you're the person that can take magnesium and not have loose bowels or not have the canker sores. And for people that tend to get those, they need to take a supplement that has equal balance. And they make all of their supplements that have calcium magnesium, they have equal calcium magnesium. And uh, a story I have to tell you about that is that my, I'm one of those people that can't take a lot of, if I take a lot of magnesium, I'll get cold sores, canker sores, or muscle cramps. Or if I eat a lot of sugar, which creates a calcium deficiency, because when you take a lot of sugar and you make acidity in the blood, what the blood does, it uses calcium. Calcium is a buffering agent, and the reason God put a whole bunch of calcium in the bones is that if your body starts to get acidic, the body will know to take calcium out of the bones and put it into the blood, elevating the blood, and neutralizing the acidity because it's the highest, it's the most alkaline substance. And a lot of people don't realize that, but what the big thing, this is on the notes, the big thing that happens with the calcium-magnesium balance is that, uh, and this is the thing that needs to be understood more through our scientists in, in, in the medical world, is that if you don't have magnesium, you don't utilize vitamin D, okay? A lot of people are taking calcium and, and vitamin D, 
But if they don't take magnesium, you need magnesium for vitamin D to work. And what does is, what is vitamin D do? It allows you to take the calcium out of your food and put it into your bloodstream for your bones, your heart, your, your surface tissues. And, and the, another thing that happens, and this is all in your notes, um, I'm not following the, the pattern exactly what I'm supposed to, but uh, I'm gonna roll and I gotta keep rolling with this. Um, there's three hormones, and this is all written on the calcium magnesium form, and I, if there's anything that's important is understanding the fact that those three hormones can make you or break you if they don't. If you're not absorbing calcium from the food, you're calcium deficient, and that affects tons of different parts of the human body. But you gotta have magnesium for the vitamin D to allow the calcium to come out of your bowels and get into your bloodstream. So that's one really important thing. And the interesting thing I'm finding, people that are taking <coughs> vitamin D and they get the blood test and they say, you're still short. We had a lady the other day, she was taking 100 milligrams of vitamin D and was still deficient. And I said, you don't have the magnesium to make that work. And so she's getting magnesium deficiency symptoms from taking so much vitamin D without the magnesium. So the, when you're doing, you need the magnesium for your body to absorb the calcium. That's number one. Number two, parathyroid hormone. Parathyroid hormone is basically a hormone that keeps your body from taking too much calcium out of your bones. Because if your diet is junky and the body's saying, hey, give me more calcium, give me more calcium, and the bones are saying, man, you're killing me. You're, you're, you're ruining my bones because you're taking out all the, cal the, the calcium that I need. Magnesium, if it is present, keeps that from happening. So it regulates how the magnesium, or it regulates how the calcium flows in and out of your bones to keep the blood the right pH. And then the other one is uh, thyrocalcitonin, long name. That hormone basically allows you to put calcium into the bones. So those three hormones, all three of those, regulate What's gonna to happen to calcium in your body? And if you're not taking magnesium, and magnesium, they, they used to think that it was important for 300 different enzyme reactions. Okay, now, Dr. Carolyn Dean, who's written the best book I've ever read on magnesium deficiency, and, and, and if you wanna really learn about magnesium, get the mag, and this is in your notes, if you go, and if it's not in the notes, it's on our website <coughs> that you'll find it. But she talks extensively about how she is able to fix so many different problems by doing exactly what we're talking about, getting the magnesium levels up where they need to be. She recommends don't take calcium supplement. And I would say don't take it, it's some, sometimes you need to take the two of them together. And uh, one of the stories I wouldn't tell you was just sort of neat. I was saying it, my family's got this problem. So my, fun's, my son is six foot seven, six foot eight, big guy, basketball player. And uh, he was telling me, man, I'm having leg cramps and I, I just don't feel good. I thought, well, we solved that problem, give me some magnesium. So we gave him magnesium. Next thing he says, Dad, I'm getting cold sores. I'm getting canker sores since I've been taking that magnesium. So right away that tells me he's calcium deficient. So, so I gave him the big calcium, low magnesium. I'm getting leg cramps. I don't get the canker sores, but I'm getting leg cramps. Bingo, why don't you try something that's equal calcium and magnesium? So we got him an UltraCal Night, which is designed by, uh, which is sold by, for Source Naturals. And he says, Dad, bingo, that happened. He says, when I play basketball, I'll take three of those before the game, and I feel like King Kong in the basketball court. <laughs> so, the thing that's so exciting is that I have found through personal experiences from patients, family, friends, enemies, uh, things that work and things that don't work. And that's, that's what we want to share with you so that you understand what's going on. But, the thing that I've noticed, 
I already told you about taking the magnesium and everybody getting better, and then six months later, everybody got sick. I'm thinking, this is too weird. I mean, how could I have everybody that needed it come in for six months, and then everybody that needed the calcium level? And I started to get the big picture that I'm not smart. I'm just, somebody invisible is teaching me something. And I found that to be true. All the supplements I've found, it's just like a seminar, I think, hmm, I think I need to go to that seminar. And I go to that seminar and I get one nugget, I think, and that changed everything, just for that one nugget. So I've been to hundreds of seminars, nutritional seminars, all over the country, the four corners of the country I've gone to. And I found that it's always interesting how you get answers. And I'm sure a lot of you have found this, found this to be happening. Sometimes you read a book and you learn something, and then the next day you run into that problem. You think, oh, I just read about how to fix that problem. Or you have a problem, and what am I going to do about this problem? And I read a book, and the Bible is a good one for doing this. And you read the Bible and say, there's the answer to the problem I had yesterday. It's like, is this all coincidence? Or is God really with me all the time? Which is what, what he says. And when you invite his son to be with you, and, and practice listening to him and talking to him about your problem. He knows you better than, than you know you. And, and it, it says in the Word of God that before you speak it, he knew what you're going to speak. And it's like we've got that kind of a, a God that's running shotgun. I call the Holy Spirit my shotgun. He's riding the stage coach with you, keeping you out of trouble if you listen. And so a lot of problems you need to really ask. And uh, anyway, maybe I better get back to the prescribed talk the way I was supposed to, Lyndon. Anyway, so I'm going to cover, we've already talked a lot about magnesium deficiency. We've talked about too much calcium promoting magnesium deficiency. Uh, and another thing about taking too much calcium, calcium is sort of like a key to a lock and it fits into a lot of other locks. So the, too much calcium sort of fits into the magnesium lock, but it also fits into the zinc lock and the iron lock. So a lot of times, the reason you're iron deficient or zinc deficient is because of the too much calcium. It's getting into the slots in your chemistry that it shouldn't be getting into. You know, and a lot of times if we end up having an iron deficiency symptom, what do we think about? Well, we think about taking more iron, and, and a lot of times more iron doesn't work. But it's interesting if you take the magnesium and have the proper stomach acid that suddenly the iron starts to show up. It's in the food. And this is one of the beauties about the supplements that we're going to talk about today. The Greens First. The Greens First is basically got a lot of magnesium in it. It's got a lot of chlorophyll in it. And, and a lot of you may have read enough that you know that Spirulina is a very good source of magnesium. Chlorella is a very good source of magnesium. Barley, uh, green turned into fluid, is a very rich source of magnesium. So taking a supplement that's got the natural sources of magnesium is dynamic because it not only elevates the magnesium levels, but it also has got calcium with it. So you're, you're already, you're taking something if you ate all natural food like they did hundreds of years ago, you would automatically be balancing calcium and magnesium. And the only thing that tends to throw that out is milk. Milk's a 10 to 1 ratio of calcium and magnesium. So you get a lot of calcium from, from milk products, but you think, well, what did you usually take in the old days with the milk products? Some oatmeal, rich in magnesium, some whole wheat, some brown rice, some greens, I mean, it's, and the bread was, had that with it. So this is where the magnesium robbers come in. In our country, we have created one thing after the other to create magnesium deficiency. So we have created heart disease, diabetes, six out of the nine steps when you have any kind of natural sugar, six out of the nine steps of converting the natural sugar to energy require magnesium. So the diabetics are almost always significantly deficient in magnesium. And why is type 2 diabetes, which even the medical world is saying, yeah, it's a nutritional problem. Type 2 diabetes comes from what you're eating and what you're not eating, which is the magnesium-rich foods. So 
I'm just encouraging you to try some stuff, even if you only try one thing. And I've had, we had a, a dental assistant that came from another office and she was, uh, anyway, talking to us. And, and I suggested, why don't you try taking some bionativus trace mineral drops and put it in the water that you drink? Gave her a little tiny bottle. About a week later, she, she calls back and says, wow, oh, and there's the picture of the, of the trace mineral drops in the water. And she says, wow, I can't believe it. Just since I'm drinking that water, my energy level is better. I'm sleeping better at night. I don't have the cramps, the menstrual cramps I used to have. She went on a whole list of supplements. And all she did was put the mineral drops in the Great Salt Lake. Each drop has got six milligrams of magnesium. And it's got 72 other minerals. And see, our body needs all these minerals. God put those minerals there for a reason. And the food that we ate, everything is balanced. And when you eat the way he created it, you're going to be balanced. So the beauty of using the water like this, and that's especially good for people that have constipation, because you can start with a, a drop in a glass, um, see what happens, drink that for a day or two, increase it to two, increase it to three, increase it until it's not so hard to go to the bathroom. And it's like, and you can stop when it starts getting a little looser than you like, but it's, a, it's a, an important way to change the constipation problem. But you're also helping to dissolve the calcium deposits in your body the more you do this. You're also helping muscles to relax more. You're doing, you're getting to the root cause of why do we have so much heart disease and diabetes and cancer. You figure you got 700 enzyme reactions in your human body 700 little spark plugs that have to work for your chemistry to work right. When you don't have magnesium, you've got 700 spark plugs that are not firing where they should. And you wonder why we have problems that we have. Seizures, diabetes, heart disease, cancers. And we can't say we can diagnose or treat or cure or prevent anything with supplements. And all I'm saying is, it's not my goal to prevent disease, because I think the good Lord died on the cross for that, if we accept and embrace him. But the thing that we can do is do what our body needs to get rid of the root causes that are causing sickness and disease. And it can be that simple. A supplement, I, I love, we've used it for 16 years, is, is Greens First. Uh, and the beauty of Greens First First of all, it's got 2,500 milligrams of green food, which, which has got the calcium already mixed in with it. It's got 54 different superfoods that they put in there. It's got th the equivalent of 15 fruits and vegetables, and how many people can even eat the five fruits and vegetables a day that we're supposed to eat to prevent health problems, prevent cancer? You're getting 15 because you took one scoop of this stuff and put it in some pure water and you drink it. It also has probiotics to feed the intestine. It also has antioxidants, which almost everybody knows about antioxidants to get rid of the free radicals in the body. And uh, digestive aids. It's got a little bit of everything that the body needs and a lot of magnesium rich foods. And uh, while we're at that, I'd like to mention something that's, that's so neat about the way God made the earth. So we got all this green stuff, and I already talked about how the green stuff is so important for so many different things. But the chlorophyll molecule is a molecule that's got magnesium in the center. In the Word of God, it says, the life is in the blood. Oh, and I often thought, oh, what's in the blood that gives, it, gives us life? Well, it's hemoglobin gives you oxygen, and you gotta have oxygen or you're dead. So it must be, have something to do with hemoglobin. Well, an interesting coincidence is that hemoglobin and chlorophyll, which is magnesium, have exactly the same physical structure, except one has got magnesium at the center and one has got iron at the center. So if your body is magic and say, well, take the magnesium out and put an iron in, you got hemoglobin. So what happens to anemia? Anyway, 
it, it's, it's so interesting to see how our body works and how the chemistry works. And if we just give it a chance, we can see awesome things happen. How are we doing on time there? <laughs> Cut it, right? Are we 10 o'clock? OK. Um, what we're going to talk about this, when you come back, we're going to talk about curcumin some more. And uh, even if we don't get to talk a lot about that, if you read that article when you get home, it's got so much information in there. I mean, it's just like I, I've read the thing over and over and over again because it's like every time I read it, I think, wow, wow, wow. This is so awesome. And if you try some and it works, give it to your doctor and say, hey. <laughs> what do you think, doc? It's got a lot of scientific investigations. So, and that's, I think that's your goal. If you feel better when you do something, is let somebody that's in the health profession to know about it. So anyway, if you're into it, uh, somewhere on the break, which is gonna be, I guess, about half an hour, uh, if you want to go over, they'll give you a, a piece of the yellow paper, which is PH paper. Put it in your mouth. And I told them, pick it up with a tweezer so they don't think you touch it with a human hand. Uh, put it in your mouth, leave it in there for a minute or two. Make sure you get it wet with some saliva. And the lack of saliva can be a magnesium deficiency symptom also, okay? People's mouths get dry when they're... But, and then there's a little scale that you can look at and see, see where your pH is. And if you say, hey, I'm not in the the 7 to 7.5 range, which Dr. Reich found was the range where people got healthy, uh, then you might decide, hey, I may try reducing some of the magnesium robbers and, and add some magnesium and, and see what happens. And, uh, and one thing I would, and then I'll finish up this part, but and, and I, if I were only going to do one thing, which I already am doing, I'd take that greens first on a daily basis just to feed the whole body and to get the magnesium levels propped up and to take the Cura Pro, which is, which is the most powerful curcumin, which we were told about to prevent sickness and disease. And just those two things, which is relatively simple. And uh, it's interesting to see what might happen to your human body. Anyway, God bless you. Uh, you can find the restrooms out there and also, we have some of, this, some of the uh, greens first. We've got little cups that you can try sampling and see if you like the taste. I don't remember saying anything about iodine. Well, anyway, uh, I don't talk too much about that because I think you need a lot of it, but there's a lot of things about it that a lot of doctors think you shouldn't take iodine because it's going to give you problems. And I'm thinking, if you don't have iodine, you don't make thyroid hormone. So you don't want any thyroid hormone anymore? Um, anyway, so I don't. Um, part of what. The Ultra Mag, if you can take magnesium, is a great one to start one tablet a day at breakfast. And just watch what happens during the week. And this is what we tell patients all the time. And then at the end of one week, look and grade your, any changes. And if you say, hey, wow, some things have gotten better, but they could stand to get better, try a second one at supper time. Give it a week, see what happens. If you're not sleeping well at night, Think about a third one before you go to bed, because magnesium deficiency is a big part of sleeplessness. Some people find that they sleep like a baby with the magnesium, and some people who are more magnesium or more calcium, uh, they need more calcium. So some people will find that the ultra calonite, which James South named it ultra calonite because it's all the things that your body needs to rebuild your body and your bones at night. And I've had lots and lots of females that have taken ultra calonites. I take two of those, and man, I sleep so much better. I fall asleep better. I stay asleep better. And then, uh, then a birthday party comes along, and you eat the cake and the ice cream, and dang, God, we didn't sleep so hard last night. Uh, so what I find is if I have the birthday party and eat some cake and ice cream, I take my B-complex and my 
might take calcium, but most people would need magnesium. But 200 milligrams is a good place to start if you're not taking any, okay? If you're gonna just try this straight. And, and a lot of people find that they really get a lot better just with one tablet of magnesium. And, and the good news, and I was supposed to stop, I know, but um, the good news is if you fill that out and you're recording, the changes, the positive changes that happen when you took the magnesium, then when the body is empty, the bottle is empty and you forgot to take it for a while, and it's like, oh man, I'm stiff again, or I'm not sleeping good. It's like, oh yeah, it was the magnesium that made me better. Why did I quit taking that? And I have that told me all the time in my own family. I say, yeah, I forgot to take that for a while and now I got those old symptoms back. So you don't tend to remember that if you don't, make a point of focusing on what changes happened and what happens when I'm starting to have these happen again. It gives, it reminds you of what you needed to do to take that. So anyway, God bless you. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> get some green drink. Get your pH checked. If you get your pH checked, check it before you drink the drink.